Hey guys, Luke Clausen here. We just finished up our last regular uh, season event of the year up in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, one of the famed smallmouth fisheries of the world. It's really a phenomenal place. Tons of smallmouth and a lot of big ones. But what that means, the weights are going to be big. A lot of the guys in our field were catching 100 pounds a day. Uh, a lot of big smallmouth. And, it, you know, I had a middle of the pack finish, but I qualified for the Red Crest for 2021 in a heavy hitters event. So successful season, shortened obviously with everything that's going on right now but I spent a lot of the time fishing shallow I love to fish shallow for smallmouth throw reaction baits was a little bit hard-headed there should have slowed down more even in some of the same areas but moved out a little bit too uh, the baits I was catching them on were the rearrange 110 in secret shad it's a chartreuse belly purple back so a uh, fairly bright bait but those chartreuse or the smallmouth really like that chartreuse this bait has a ton of action you can cast it a long ways cover a lot of water it's really easy to work when you want a bait that's going to dart 18 inches side to side for those smallmouth you want something really erratic when the water's warm the other one was the 110 MR, so the same bait with a bigger bill. Uh, this bait will get down to 10 feet on a really long cast and hit the bottom, so realistically, I'm throwing a jerk bait like this over 15 feet to keep it over their head. Uh, but bait you can fish really deep water, still has a ton of action, casts extremely well. Uh, throwing both those on a G. Loomis uh, JBR jerk bait rod 813. It's a rod that has several uh, different flexes to it that load uh, throughout the layers there, so it casts really well, has the enough tip that it's not a lot of work with a really limber rod to jerk a bait but yet you still have the the flex of the rod to hold the fish to load with those size six hooks um, 12 pound cigar and viz x fluorocarbon is what i throw a jerk bait on almost all the time if i want to get really deep another time of year i may go with lighter but i throw a 12 pound most of the time keeping it shallow may go up to 15 12 pound cigar invex in with a jerk bait is my go to and that SBR 813. Throwing it with the Shimano Corrado K 63 to 1. I like a slower reel so your cadence keeps up with you. You don't want a super fast reel with a jerk bait because you overwork the bait. You need to keep slack in between that tip and where your line hits the water to get that bait to pop so it can glide side to side. Really important when throwing any jerk bait, but that rearrange is one of the easier ones to throw. Um, a couple other baits I threw. Uh, three quarter ounce Z-Man sling blades. This is a double willow. Red perch is the color. It's a color I've thrown forever. It's a really good northern color for uh, largemouth in the spring, but smallmouth all year. They like that chartreuse, and it's got some peach and red flake in it. A pretty bright bait, but it's something that's going over their head. They have to react to it. So, uh, you know, burning that really shallow water when I get up in three to five foot of water, which seems really clear in that clear water, keeping that bait six inches under the surface, really smoking it along. They'd come up and just destroy it. Uh, throwing that on an SBR 813. G. Loomis IMX Pro, uh, Corrado K. In that, I throw on a 7.3 to 1 reel. I want something that's a little bit faster, a little bit easier on me turning the handle. I'm seeing the bait the whole time, so I know what it's doing. A 17 pound Abrazex Seaguar fluorocarbon. I use a pretty heavy line. I want to keep the bait high. I want to limit stretch. I still want some stretch because it is a spinner bait and they are smallmouth, but I want to limit it with that little bit heavier line. I'm making really long casts, the three quarter ounce bait. We can get it out there. Uh, a couple other baits I through the Jackal MC60. Uh, throw that on 12 pound uh, in Vizx again. It's a bait I'm burning over those flats. This bait will go six, seven feet. So I'm fishing it over 10 feet of water. Want to keep it over their head. This is a bluegill pattern that really mimics what the gobies look like. The kind of the brownish back, light belly, pretty similar. Obviously, this is meant to mimic a bluegill, but uh, it looks a lot like a goby too. And, and that was a bait I threw a lot when it was slick, and I wanted to move something to move fast. They'd follow a jerk bait, but I could burn that bait, and when I get in that deeper water water and they'd still come up and hit it. Uh, 12 pound in Vizx, G Loomis, CBR 845, uh, medium heavy cranking rod, just launching out there and I'm winding it, stopping it, erratic, very fast uh, the whole time getting those fish to react to that bait. A uh, really important bait that I threw the MC60. And lastly, the piece of plastic I threw the most was a Z-Man Big TRD. But I'm rigging it wacky rig. It's a flick shake. So this is the Elastec plastic, you know, stretches a long ways, it floats. Um, you need to use a little bit heavier head than you use on a lot of uh, flick shake style baits because this plastic does float. So this is a 10th ounce Z-Man finesse shrooms. So you just run it through the middle. You don't need a rubber band or anything. I mean, you cannot pull that bait off of there. Hooks the fish really well. That heavier weight with this 
buoyant plastic, either a tenth or you can go to an eighth ounce, causes the bait to actually wobble when it's sinking and gets a lot of bites. Black, big color in the Midwest. There's a lot of leeches up there. So those smallmouth really like black probably more so than they do in a lot of other places. You know, I've caught them at home and a lot of the places on black, but they really like it up there. Uh, that was a really good bait for follow-ups. Fan casting on some of those flats when it got slick. And I was using an eight pound Seaguar gold, la gold label leader. Uh, so the high end leader and a uh, 20 pound uh, Smackdown high vis green. So a bright, bright line. I can see my line because this bait's just sinking. You don't really know what it's doing. You want to be able to see your line and you'd see those bites uh, when they'd actually come and bite the bait so you wouldn't gut, gut hook as many fish and uh, be able to hook them. Throwing that on an SJR uh, 842 spinning rod. So just a seven foot medium action spinning rod a rod style that's been around forever it's a rod that I've used for years and years but still use a lot of them today a really good universal rod for small finesse baits like this so anyway that's uh, pretty much what I did up there again qualified for the tournaments I needed to for next year we're done with a lot of events for this year we have uh, the, the US Open left and one cups more events coming but not as many as a normal year obviously shortened season everything's going on in the country but I know everybody's out fishing you can find all these baits at tackle warehouse.com dot com.